What do you know about where we're going? We're going to rock we're memorial. Rock memorial. Yeah. 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 Actually, at this place, we were going to sat and he meditated at this place. Some people, I don't think, they haven't been on a boat before. Yeah. It might be true. Because they are from remote areas, you know. Yes. India is a huge country. Yeah. Yes. There are lots of remote areas in between. Yeah. So they might be uh, living there and they never have traveled to the coastal area. The first area. time that they've been to the coast. Yeah, it might be true. Imai, I wonder if you could tell me something about the place that we're in. Okay. Uh, the place that we are currently in it's called Vivekananda Mandapam, um, and this is supposed to be the southern tip of India. And Geographically, there is another southern trip, but legend would have it that uh, a person by name uh, Mr. Vivekananda, he actually came over here and uh, he stood in this rock, he swam from there to, to this rock about 100 and 150 years, I think, approximately ago. Uh, he swam here and then uh, uh, he looked in the other direction towards India and uh, he visualized the land that he's standing as the uh, foot of India. So it's like... Uh, it was literally like uh, he was standing at the foot of Mother India and he was bowing down to the country. And Vivekananda is an ardent, uh, uh, what do you call, flag holder of uh, Hindu religion in its truest form. He is the one who took Hinduism to a global level. People say that you can see three colors in, in some places here. Meeting of the three oceans, right? <laughs> yeah. The Indian Ocean, yeah. the, the, the Arabian, Arabian Sea, sea and, and the, the Bengal. Bay of Bengal. You know what's just occurred to me is we're looking looking over there and on the horizon yeah. there's a wind farm, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. These are wind, uh, wind mills uh, from a company called Suzlom. So uh, they have, you know, these are newly built. It was not there before. So it's like an innovative technology to produce power. So this is something that they have done here and they have done it in Rajasthan as well. Really? So, yeah, in the desert. Where, where people used to say that you really can't get any energy. But uh, yeah, they're, they're doing a good job. I, I like them, <laughs> the way they move around. Uh, it's so cool to see that you know, it's producing energy. <laughs> it's like big fans, middle of the ocean. <laughs>